Hey, what's going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. As you guys already know, Overwatch 2's new season 4 has been dropped recently and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS, get more performance, get rid of network issues, packet loss, ping issues and much more. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Also leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is creating a restore point and this is really really important and simple. For that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC and press enter. Once you are in the system protection, you're looking for your local disk C. Click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Then click on create and name it overwatch. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really important in maintaining your system's integrity. If anything happens to your PC, it will always be restorable to the point when nothing has happened. Once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Step number two is the best windows settings and for that you have to open up your settings section of your windows, then look up for game mode. You will find turn on game mode on your PC. I would recommend you guys to turn this thing on. However, for some PC, turning this off brings a lot more performance, so you have to check it for yourself. Enabling the game mode will allow your PC to reduce the apps running in the background, also the resources being utilized in the background and focus more on the things running in the foreground. So this will help you to get much better FPS performance if you simply turn this thing on. Right beneath that, you will find the graphic settings over here. In this, you have to click on these change default graphic settings and make sure that both of these options are enabled. Then go back to graphics and you will find a list of all the games and applications that primarily uses your GPU listed over here. By default, you will also find your game over here, but if not, you can always click on the browse button and go to the install location. In my case, I have kept my game in this folder. Go into Overwatch and add the Overwatch launcher over here. I have already added it. So here is Overwatch launcher. Click on option and select high performance. Then click on browse once again. Go into the retail folder and also add the overwatch.exe folder. Once you've added the Overwatch application over here, simply click on options and click on high performance and hit save. Once it is done, you have to look for Windows update over here and make sure that your windows is always up to date if not you have to click on install all and update your windows to the latest version keeping your windows up to date will help you to reduce all of the bugs and other performance issues happening on your windows to be fixed by default right beneath that you will find advanced options click on it go into the delivery optimization part and make sure to keep this thing off also for the advanced options keep it to absolute bandwidth step number three is deanimating your windows and it is really really easy simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and you will open up the performance option just like this click on adjust for best performance select show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts and click on apply this will remove all of the unnecessary and unwanted animations on your windows allowing your pc to perform much better also go over to the advanced section and for the process scheduling make sure to set this thing to program a lot of you guys might have it set to background services by default so set this thing to programs step number four is system configuration and this is also a really important step search for system configuration on your pc and then this small window will pop right in front of you what you're looking for over here is the boot section you will find all of the operating systems listed on your pc you have to select the one that you are using the current os click on advanced options click on number of processors and select the maximum number of processors available this will reduce your startup time as well as increase your performance in the long run also go to the services section and scroll down until you find the microsoft edge update service you need to disable both of them and then scroll a bit down google chrome update services or google update services you need to stop both of them as well and in the next tab you will find the startup tab here click on the open task manager and task manager will pop right in front of you you have to go to the startup applications and disable all of the unnecessary and unwanted startup applications that you do not want to boot with your pc this will save a lot of processing and resources in the background once you're done with that simply click on apply 
close system configuration now if you're suffering with your internet and you are facing high ping packet loss and latency issues i would always recommend you guys to get exit lag you can go to the link in the description below get exit lag it's completely free to use for three days once you have downloaded and opened it up the interface should look like this exit lag has a list of over 250 games to choose from including your favorite ones you have to simply search for overwatch over here and you will find overwatch 2 already listed in here you have to select the game region for me it is asia but if you know more details about your region you can select the nearest one to you you can see if i connect to singapore it will give me 53 average ping and if i connect to dubai it will give me 30 average ping so i would go with dubai 01 click on apply routes and it will be added over here the best part of exit lag is you have the dedicated tool section over here you have to go into the fps boost enable the first third fourth fifth and second last option and after that you have to restart your pc once and just with these few things you will be getting much better fps and you will get much better network performance now exit lag is not free to use and there is a subscription that you need to get in order to use it so it offers you one month six month and 12 month subscription which you can go on to the link in the description below and get any of this at flat 10% off so make sure to go and choose wisely next step is the overwatch 2 season 4 fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below once you've downloaded and opened it up you will find in four simple folders first one is the overwatch priority i have left two priority files over here if you're suffering with low input lag and fps lag you can go with the medium priority if you're suffering with high fps issues you can go with the high priority then go into the pc tweaks folder and you will find in two folders these are dedicated for your cpu if you have an intel cpu you can go with the intel one if you have an amd cpu you can go with the amd one now what you're looking for is the system information on your pc you have to take a note of your processor for me i have an amd processor and the total physical memory that is 16 gb for me you have to keep both of these things in your mind I have to run the AMD CPU priority, it can be different for you so you have to choose one of them. Then you have to apply both of these registries to increase your power efficiency and improve your PC's performance. Then go back to the third folder that is the RAM optimization. Now as I said I have 16 GB RAM on my PC, it can be different for you so I have left a list of a lot of RAM registries over here. You have to run the one that you have on your PC. And lastly is the programs folder where I have left in two simple programs. First one is the clean temporary files and as it says its job is to clean the temporary files on your pc you have to right click and run this as administrator this will simply ask you to press any key to delete all of the temporary files these are the files that are not required on your pc and you have to remove them every now and then to keep your pc optimized you have to press any simple key on your keyboard and it will start deleting all of these files don't worry this step is completely safe right after that you have the msi mode utility 3 you have to right click and run this as administrator once this program opens up you are looking for your GPU over here for me I have my GPU right here from undefined you have to select this to high click on apply and then close it this will improve your GPU's performance right ahead once you're done applying the FPS pack I would recommend you guys to come to the overwatch launcher press on this options button and go to the game settings in here you have to add the additional command line arguments press a minus or a hyphen button and type in high right after that click on done and then click on the play button and drop into the game to follow the best in-game settings. Okay, so once you are in your game, you have to press the escape key, go into the options panel. Now over here, you will find the video tab. For your display mode, go with full screen, target display, go with the best match or the monitor that you dedicate to play on. Then for the resolution, go with the base resolution of your monitor with the highest refresh rate possible. You can also reduce the resolution. This will make your game much more playable and increase the FPS. Then for the field of view, I would recommend you guys to go with the maximum. Aspect ratio, according to your monitor, you have to set it. Then for the dynamic render scale, keep it off. Render scale, keep it custom and set the in-game resolution to somewhere between 75 to 90. That will give you the best FPS possible. Then for the maximum frame rate, you have to set this to custom and set this to the maximum limit. V-Sync, triple buffering and reduced buffering, keep everything off. You can keep reduced buffering on. Then for the NVIDIA Reflex, go with Enable Plus Boost. For some of you, Enable will work best and for some of you, Enable Plus Boost works best. So you have to check Enable Plus Boost works best for me. 
then for these three settings it is just a personal preference right after that you will find the graphics quality section and for the graphics quality you have to set this to low because you do not really need the details in the game what you're looking for is the better fps for better performance and for the high quality upsampling you can use the amd fsr 1.0 this will basically play your game on a very lower scale but use ai technology to upscale it and show it on the normal resolution and i think that this can help you to get that extra 10 to 15 percent fps i would definitely suggest you guys to give it a try if this works best for you you can apply it if it doesn't you can obviously turn this thing off after doing that you can press the y button then in the details section show display performance stats keep it on frame rate keep it on then gpu temperature i would not recommend that vram usage keep it on network latency keep it on and network interpolation delay keep it on so now you will see all of the important stats on the top now you can drop into your game and get that experience of high fps that you've been looking for so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below it seriously helps me out a lot we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out